Hello again, everyone. We're going to take a look at a few stocks here, and we're going to go over the analysis and thought process and hopefully guide you through the market. If you like these videos and you like the analysis and you'd like to learn more, go ahead and visit stockmarketvideo.com and you can sign up for the risk-free trial today. All right, so let's get into these charts here. The first one that we're going to look at is SRPT. SRPT, a very nice gap up on some high volume. As you can see down here, it's one of the highest volume days of the entire year, uh, of the entire uh, last couple of years. So not to be uh, you know, taken for granted here. We gapped up above this resistance here at about $29, and we had a nice strong bullish candle here with bullish volume. So there, I don't see any reason uh, for this stock to not continue higher. More than likely, it's going to come up here and test this resistance up here at about $40. You can see that in the past, we've gotten rejected at it several times. And I'm going to switch to the weekly time frame. So you can see there's even more resistance here. You can see that we got rejected here once before. Uh, over here, we broke a little bit above it. Uh, got rejected here, here, and here. So this is a big, big level. We haven't really been able to stabilize above $40 since before 2011. So got to be aware of these levels here. Short term, we've got support at 29 resistance at $40. Just be aware that this is a big, big resistance here at $40, and we're coming up to it. All right, next, let's take a look at STEM. And I'm going to keep it on the weekly time frame here. As you can see, we ran into this downtrend line. We did a video on this uh, a while ago, and I wanted to make you aware of this resistance here, which is exactly uh, what we came into. We got rejected here at about almost $3 and then came down lower here. So that's a almost a 50% drop right there from that resistance. So these charts definitely uh, do work and you need to pay attention to them. We've got a downtrend line right here. You can see a rejection here, 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 as well as right there. That touch hit that resistance level and the downtrend line. So until this breaks, uh, we're going to continue lower. As you can see here, uh, this is the weekly time frame uh, going back you know, all the way to 2007. And this stock has done pretty much nothing but uh, go down. So until that really changes, you know, we've had a couple of, you know, one or two day moves, um, but nothing more than that. So until this changes, uh, we're most likely going to continue to the downside. On the upside, if we close above this trend line and close above 260, we can see a really nice breakout to the upside on this stock. But let's play it by ear. Until that happens, we're in a downtrend, uh, and you got to keep uh, that in mind if you're trading or investing in STEM. Next, let's take a look at SPWR. And SPWR uh, really making a, a nosedive here. I don't see much support until about uh, $5, between $5 and about $4 from this low right there. And I'm going to draw that support right there. So support is between $5 and $4. Anywhere in between here is kind of a no man's land. Not something that I personally want to be uh, touching on you know, the short side or the long side, to be honest with you. Um, and as you can see here, we've got a nice downtrend line to play off against. So if it pops up, back up here, up to that downtrend line, it's most likely going to be a good shorting opportunity with a stop being a close over the downtrend line. So more than likely, eventually we're going to retest these lows near $5. Uh, if we kind of have some kind of a build here and a base and then a break over the downtrend line, then we can come up here and test this uh, level up here, this resistance. As you can see, it was support, 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 and support, and now it's going to be resistance. So Kind of got a few things going on with SPWR, and you can play it both ways, depending if you want to buy it support down here or we'll wait for it to break out over the downtrend line. Otherwise, more than likely a good short if it comes up to the downtrend line before 
reaching this support down here near five dollars thanks for watching everyone again if you like these videos and you like the analysis go ahead and visit us at stockmarketvideo.com and sign up for your risk-free trial today